Alright, hello you cunts and welcome to Let's Play Victoria 2. So many people have been spamming me about this goddamn game. Then I'm actually gonna do it. So there. You've succeeded. Consider this your 500 subscriber special. We are of course going to be playing as France. And the Russians wanna ally us? And so does this place. Right here. See, they just popped up on our map. And then here's Russia. It's fucking big. Like, you don't even know how difficult it is to get an army from one side of it to the other. So we're not going to be playing as them. Alright, now France. The greatest nation that ever gone done lived. See, these flags actually grow proportional um, to army strength. See, like, look at all these, look at all these frigates, man of wars here. There's 27, there's 12. Now, when you zoom out, you clearly see the difference. This one bigger, this one smaller. So, anyways, uh, that having been said, there's Algeria. Now, we are going to declare war on them. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to mm, research some technology. Alright, so, um... If I wanted to go for early game military, I would want to research derp derp derp. Where is it? Where is it? Military staff system. That's what I need first because I need cavalry. I start with it being researched. So that's always nice. Uh, the other thing that I would want to have is command principle. Uh, very useful. I also have it. Uh, and then army professionalism is the next tactic that I would get. Because it gives you tactics. Tactics means you take less casualty in battle. It's brilliant. Okay? Um, now let's see. Uh, let's go, let's go to economy real quick. Because that's the important one when you're starting out, okay? As you can see, France starts out with quite a bit of economy. And, uh, really, really quite nicely set up. You see, we've got insurance companies, regulated buying of stocks, da da da. Alright, now what we want is freedom of trade. That one's useful. And the next one that we want would be... Where is it? Um... Hmm. I know it's here somewhere. It's just evading my eyes right now. I know it's here somewhere. Anyways. Um. Oh, right on. I forgot what it's, um. Uh, it's one of these things. Um, let's see. Not that one. No. Um. Ah, oh, god damn it. Where is it? Erg. It should be right here under organizations. Uh, guilds. Uh, work classification. Um, scientific managing. Time saving measures. Management strategy and organizational. No, it's not there. God damn it. Um, yes, well, it's not going to be under law, certainly isn't going to be under there, um, nope, not in there either, this is weird, oh, maybe, oh, right, it should be, uh, oh, I've been looking under the wrong tab, I'm so stupid sometimes, alright, what you want is this for early game economy, okay, it's brilliant. Mechanical production. It's It just makes your life all that much better. The next thing you'd want is uh, clean coal. If you're going for an economy build. Followed by medicine. And yes, I'm playing this on Steam. So you guys get to watch him make a fool of himself. Brilliant, right? <laughs> um, anyways. Next we want medicine. Uh, it's very nice and just 
it helps everything grow and has a bunch of little light bulbs that you can get from it. Um, next, uh, we want interchangeable parts. And then after that, um, eh, at that point, it's like a toss up. Uh, basically, you'd either want to go back to commerce and get business banks. Or you would want to get inorganic chemistry for even more, uh, even more boost to your people's health. Because you want your people to be healthy when they're working in factories, you know, not losing fingers and all that stuff. And, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much that. Uh, now the next thing we can take care of is, let's see, we talked about the army real quick. Uh, let's go back to that real quick, actually. And, um, the other thing that you wanted is strategic mobility. Um, uh, that's probably a little bit not as prioritized as the other ones, but it's nice because it helps you move faster. Alright, there's also, you can also go Navy, but I'm not going to do it because going Navy with England so close to you is just a giant waste of time. So, um, culture, right. This is what I'm actually getting a bonus to right now, so I might actually go for it. Alright, you want, um, you want ideological thought. Uh, because it boosts research early on. It's actually really nice. So that's what I'm actually going to start to research. Um, and then after that, there's there's whole cornucopia of things that you can go down. Um, yeah. So you can see this opens up a whole lot of policy, social crap. And it has a guy with a beard, so clearly it has to be awesome. All right. That's that's why we're researching that one. And then um uh, this next one's sort of like weird. So yeah, I'm not even gonna talk about it. Screw y'all. But it's basically this one right here, Malthusian thought. It's good for uh colonial immigration. And boosting your educational efficiency. That's what that's all about. And, uh, next, what do we have here? Um, nationalism and imperialism. You can work your way towards that one. Um, alright. It, it also happens to boost stuff like research, and it also... Well, basically it has a bunch of modifiers, right? Separatism, colonial prestige, war exhaustion, morale, colonial migration. Basically, uh, nationalism and imperialism is if you want to go ahead and conquer all of Africa. So that's what that one's all about. And it's actually br brilliant if you're doing that. So yeah. And then there is another one that I wanted to touch on before we actually started. And, uh, god damn it, am I having problems finding it again? Uh, I think it should be over maybe here. Um, nope, not there. Right on. No, it should be here somewhere. There it is. Market structure. That's the one that I was going to talk about. Basically, it increases factory tech and does all this other nice stuff. Increasing, uh, re it basically reduces the amount of stuff that your factory has to take in and it increases the amount of stuff that it puts out. As well as a boost to education, apparently. I don't see that there, though. Alright, whatever. I thought I gave a boost to education. Um. <coughs> God damn it, it sucks being sick while doing this. Anyways. Uh, next, we are going to look at our production. As you can see, we have a shitload of unemployed craftsmen. Okay. And as you can see, there's not a lot of factories. And... The only projects that will actually get investors are railroads. Okay, rail railroads don't even need investors. Railroads just get built by themselves, so you don't really have to worry about it with a country like France. 
Um, trade, I will leave automatic, because that is a giant pain in the dick to do. Um, however, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to uh, declare a war of conquest on them. And we will proceed. Okay, and uh, next we go down to Belgium. And we start making influence with them. Because as you can see, we have 25 and England has 25 to start with. <laughs> and what we want to do here is we want to uh, increase our relations with them. As much as we can. Okay, they just went from 15 to 140. Uh, now, the reason we want to do this is we want to remove them um, from uh, Britain's sphere of influence. That's very important to us. Okay. Now, the other thing we can do in this list is uh, if we're looking at this column, we can see what else Britain uh, is influencing. Uh, the United States is actually influencing Liberia. Quite interesting. And if we keep going, we'll see the papal, sta the papal states are actually our little... Uh, protectorate they're in our sphere of influence and that's it that is the only country that we have in our sphere of influence isn't that brilliant <laughs> we don't have a large sphere of influence at all okay uh so anyways that's that now next we want to change our government all right and uh what we want to do is we want to have state capitalism I don't really care what the hell else they're for, as long as they give me state capitalism, I am very much good. Now, most of these are conservative, and this is a reactionary party. So, uh, what people really want is this. They want to they wanna be protectionist and secular and blah 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 bullshit. Screw them. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And the reason you do this is because your people are incompetent dick suckers and they can't make their own factories. So, what you have to do is you have to start with this crap. And then, um. And then you can start making factories in all these places, yeah? Alright, so what do we. So we have one place here that makes furniture, ammunition, and paper. Most random bunch of shit ever. Okay, so. Um, this is what you want to do at the start because you have a lot of money at the start it's not a guarantee you'll have a lot of money later and the other thing is um, yeah there's there's really no reason not to do it right now so remember there is always money in a cement factory yeah okay Um, and it needs look at this 10,000 workers it's brilliant all right, other factories need pretty much as many workers as this one does. However, what you want to do is you want to go to your resource map. Um, I think it's this one right here. And then uh, if you zoom in, you can see what resources they have. Like, um, see, these fuckers have cotton. These dudes have fish and cotton and all of that bunch of bunch of shit all right so um let's see all right so see you guys have this thing coal and coal is kind of useful coal is actually very useful all right so you also have tobacco that's kind of cool anyways um what you want to do is yeah, zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole nation. You can see that this is actually like a region here, this big chunk that's made up of uh, these two provinces. So if I go 